So we are taking a ride on Virginia's first Julie Safety Liner C2 fully electric bus. Julie is emission free, noise pollution free, and fossil fuel free. She is powered by two 110 kilowatt hour battery packs, which gives us 220 kilowatt hours of usable power. It produces 295 horsepower. It is Bendix air disc brake, all serviced by an electric air compressor since we have no engine or belt system. Uh, Julie's nominal range is right about 134 miles per hour, uh, 134 miles. This bus was driven from High Point, North Carolina this morning, which is approximately 125 miles. Uh, it showed up with 18% uh, state of charge left in the battery packs. We have been on about a seven mile route so far and we're still about 13%. So we'll be heading back to the shop now. Uh, the vehicle is so quiet that there are two noise emitters, one in the front bumper and one in the rear bumper. So at low speeds, when a driver's approaching a stop, it sends out a chime to alert passengers or pedestrians that the bus is coming, but it'll definitely sneak up on you without a diesel motor. If you want to take a look at the instrument cluster, the interior of the bus obviously is very traditional. All the switches are located in the same place as a normal C2 would, but instead of a fuel gauge, we have a state of char charge gauge, um, along with your um, other normal gauges for heating, cooling, air pressure, and what have you. There's also an LED display under the analog gauges that will give you things like uh, battery temperature, battery state of charge, and so on. standard transmission. It uses a two-speed Eaton gearbox. Very durable. There is nothing on the exterior of the bus to identify that it's electric. It'll look like every other C2 school bus you've ever seen. The only difference is in the background of the Thomas emblem. It's highlighted in blue to identify it as an electric. chargers, which you'll see momentarily, will pull up to or are all Proterra, the same company who designs and builds the batteries and powertrain. It's a DC fast charger. The bus will fully charge in approximately three hours on a 64 kilowatt charger. So with a 134 mile average range and a three hour charge time, it'll certainly handle any school bus route in Virginia.
One feature that we know the drivers are really going to love, no longer do we have the often tough to set or release uh, park brake. This is a new system, uh, Bendit's IntelliPark, and it's one touch of a finger to set and release. So that concludes our first short test drive with Julie.